Put out the light, silly man. Carries the red tongues into Auckland. I'll curse it! She wants to find her tunnel. We told Flashleg about it, didn't we? Good. Yes, very good. Let's make sure it gets there, but hidden like wraiths. He was your only friend, Deagle. The only one who talked to you, though he did not like you much. Nobody did. <laughs> dark tunnel, my precious. Nice and dark. Yeah. But where? A oh, slight little sneak. There is no tunnel. Yeah. I hope the orcs ate you. Yet, he pitied you. You left Eagle and went ashore, nosing about the riverbank. Even that day, on your birthday, you'd rather be by yourself. Why are you standing around? Bring it back! Dah! Desert man stumbles right into the Orcs. Great. Now what? Left or right? Left, stupid. He doesn't see them. <sighs> when in doubt, go right. They'll see him. They'll eat him. Death, fool, fool. Can't stand still, can you? You're not afraid of that ghost again, are you? I'm telling you, he's back, and he's angry. Another day of dead ends. Huh? Who's there? Has it found the tunnel? Has it? Very good. He remembered. You? What are you doing here? Saving crash legs, as usual. Now quick, more orcs are coming. Not us. Oxes did. Hundreds of oxes, and they're coming our way. Not smart to carry the red tongues. Not smart at all. Harry, tunnel is not far.
Are those spider webs? A large spider, yes. Used to live here once. Long dead. There's still a stench in the air, though. Nasty, yes. Not a nice path, not at all. That's why orcs never use it. But if Desert Man knows better ways because he knows so much... No. Don't touch the walls. Uh, even your bird doesn't like this. It'll come back. Always does. Come. <sighs> well then, lead the way. This tunnel never ends. We must have walked for hours. You have been here before, haven't you? We has. Orcs won't follow us here. Nice darkness. Aren't we? Just wait here. I can't see a way to get up there. No way, no. Not for the fat Grashnik. She will like him. Yes, my love, she will. You like him a lot. Is that you? Desert Man, wait here for a while. Why? What is it? He will see, he will see. 
See what? No, I don't see a thing. This is it. This was the way. See if she's home. And there you are, miserable in solitude, yet even more so in company. Your eyes transfixed on some mucky hole. You don't see that a fish takes steagles hook, but you hear the splash. The fish is big and strong. He's dragged into the water, all the way to the bottom. He was drowning. No, no, that is not how he died. Eagle's little hand. All those years it must have been down there on the bottom of the river, hidden from the world, waiting. A ring of glittering gold, like a tiny sun, brilliant and beautiful. So beautiful. Give us that, Deagle, my love, you said. It was our birthday, my love. And you wanted it. It came to us, to us, to us. How could you resist a lure that not even kings could withstand? She lets both of us go. Too risky. Too risky. Freshnik just wants to go home. And perhaps he could have, if he hadn't left us behind. He had no other choice. Precious would have done the same. Yes, perhaps we would have. Please, don't wake up, Precious. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> 
And so you silenced it. Lies! That's when you murdered him. Right there by the river, in the flower beds. You killed your friend. Uh, don't listen, my love. He found your precious ring, and so you strangled him. It was our birthday. Of course there were flowers. You strangled him and left his body there in the slough. No, no, not us. Baggins, Baggins has it. He stole it. Our present, our precious. It was ours, and he took it, and he lied. Oh, what have we got in our pockets, is he asks. That's a cheat. Yes, sweet one, we will squeeze its filthy little neck. Oh, man can watch. Oh, oh. We want silence. We're done. We are. What did he say? Too much about too little. Release him from his cell. He shouldn't be alone down here. If he gets better, we might yet learn more from him. Are you sure? Your king is right. There's little hope that he will. But once in a while, I will bet against the odds. He bit my hand. Be more careful. Yes, yes, let us leave. Wise old man, we shouldn't be alone. Always so lonely, my precious. Yes, we are. You will wait. We wait, yes, nice elves. Where would we go to, eh? Was it Deagle who found the precious? Don't listen to evil sorcerers, my love. It was our birthday present, it was. And is. And we will not let them find it. The plates are empty, dear. The children stole your fruit again. Will the king see me today? Why do you have to keep asking, Mel? I crave disappointment. There's nothing else to eat. Man si. Man karitank anden. Pedin an hak istek anden. Tanak sa u hebitha estel nadregab. No ropes, see? Cruel elves! Let wizard hurt our eyes! It hurts! That's why we bit the nice elf. But Smeagol would be good now. Swear it. Swear not to harm any man in these halls. Yes, we swears. Smeagol will be very good. Nice elves will see. Yes, we will. We see everything. Hear that rushing of water. That's our underground river. Don't go visit him. He'd jump with fright and drown you. And then how could we live with that? We'd be grief-stricken. Let's go up to the gardens instead. A much merrier place. Come. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a hundred years. Enough. What's with that one's eyes, we wonders? Why don't they shine so terrible? <laughs>